What's your name? Jace. What's your last name? Walker. How old are you? Five. How many times you farted today? Zero times. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on guys? So I'm going to keep this vlog super short because I just wanted to attack these two subjects with the shifter and the wiring. So we're just waiting on getting uh, the right motor mounts for Maddie's car. I don't know what happened in between purchasing them through uh, a second buyer. Um, where we messed up. So I think it's just the passenger side motor mount that has to get changed and the other two motor mounts are correct. So I don't know, I hope you're enjoying the channel. I'm trying to put out this concentrated information on certain parts that people have a lot of trouble with. So this vlog will be short, I'm warning you now, but enjoy. All right, so we're using the K-Tune shifter plate. So what you do is you, you put these two hex keys in first for reference because they bolt into where the factory uh, shift linkage would go and then you have to drill these two out and it comes with the, the nut and bolt that you need so we're gonna just use a 5 16 bit drill two holes send these suckers down and then meet them at the bottom with the, the lock nut With the two bolts provided and your nut will meet it at the bottom so one of us is going to have to stay up here with a hex key but then we'll blow this out in a few but then that's it now you meet it at the bottom and you tighten it with this guy all right closest one to the driver's side first Good. And that's it. So this is basically is a two-man job. You got to have someone on the bottom hold these front two, but that's it. This is solid. It's not moving. And that's how you install the plate. And it comes with the proper washers for the shifter plate and whatever else you need. Let's go, Maddie. Bring me down. All right. So now the shifter, the K-Tune billet shifter, there's a few very important things you should do. Every bolt on here needs to be thread locked. I don't care which bolt it is that you see. This is a great product. It works amazing, but it can loosen up from the vibration. So we're going with the provided washer. And we're just putting a dab right at the tip of it. Done. That's as much as you're going to use. Thread it in by hand. Move on to the next one. We'll go adjacent from each other, across, whatever you want to call it. Just a little dab of thread lock, not to glob it on. We just want it in the thread so this doesn't back out. And boy, do I suck with my left. Another guy here. I don't know why so many people have a problem with this billet shifter. Just fucking pay attention to instructions, man. It's not, not rocket science. Last one. And then we just use the Milwaukee and we tighten it down. Anybody notice my sweats today? Gold Nike. Different. <laughs> Fancy pants. <laughs> Watch it. Gold Nike. All right. We got our guys thread locked. It's very simple. We'll just tighten it now. A little bit there, a little bit there, a 
little bit there. We're gonna need an extension. Done. Finish this guy by hand. And that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. This is not moving ever. All right, guys, so a uh, real important part here is the conversion harness. We're using a, a hybrid one, and it's very simple. Sometimes this gets complicated because people just overcomplicate it, right? So we have three wires here. We have fuel pump, which is solid green with a yellow stripe. We have LED, this is for the error codes for your check engine light, which is solid uh, green with a red stripe. And last but not least is, which one is this one? Uh, what's miscellaneous? Uh, I forget what miscellaneous is, but whatever. It's solid, uh, solid green with an orange stripe. So the first thing we're gonna do is just add the buck connectors to each end. So I'll use my new guy that I've been eager to use. And you can obviously shorten this. I'll do it later, but I just wanna explain it now like this. That's enough. Boom. Add your connector. Get your crimper, but just make sure that your crimper, that you could see the wire through your crimper. You could see it moving around, so you make sure you don't hit the plastic right there. have to move down right there it's a small wire okay that guy's on nice and easy right so you do that to all three all right guys so we've got all three connectors on uh, all three wires that we need to pin into the factory harness so finding the wires is it gonna be hard no we're gonna look at this the simplest way you have a connector which is your biggest connector and you have D which is your second biggest connector the other one you don't pay attention to, you don't need it. So when you're looking behind, when you're looking for your pin, you have this guy facing up and you're looking at the back of the wires. Odd numbers are on the top, even numbers are at the bottom. So you count one, two, three, four. So you go up, down, up is one, under it is directly two. So we move over to A7, which I have out already, and we move over to A13. 7 is an odd number, 13 is an odd number, right? I left this here for reference. So my first guy here, which will go to fuel pump, is that. Now when you're using the hybrid uh, conversion harness, they give you everything that you need. You simply just crimp this guy on to, to A7, and that's it. So put it in there. All right, so we've got our one connector on A7. Now is next is A3. You really got to press on this really, really hard. Right there, and you'll hear it click. So that's done. We got our fuel pump, our other fire. And then on this side is D10. So this is our wire for D10. So we'll do the same thing here. Crimp this guy on by hand. You'll hear it click. Right there, we're done. So now, we just plug this up. All right, so we've got all our connectors all ready. We have our, uh, our unions on the harness side. So now all we're doing is plugging it in. You know, you're doing, you know you're doing it right when the wires are matching. So what Hybrid did was just try as hard as they can to match the exact size, I guess diameter, or, uh, and color as they could. So our first one is A7, which is fuel pump. A7 just gets plugged in right here. You're done. Our next one is A13, which is solid green uh, with orange, which is our check engine light. Is that it? So, yep, solid green with orange, which is our check engine light. Just plug that guy in right there. And then last but not least, 
is our last one, which is D10, which is ELD. I don't know exactly what ELD means, but I just know it belongs here. Okay? Somebody will correct me in the comments. And that's it. You're done. So what, what I did was I just made this nice and clean because we're not using oxygen sensors. We're not. So I just zip tied this nice and clean so we can run this behind um, the dashboard. And that's it. Wiring is only three wires on this side. You get your coolant temp. You send that one wire to the switch and you're all done. The rest of the wires you don't need. All you need is your coolant temp. Uh, the fan switch can get controlled uh, through the K-Pro. And that's it. The wiring is done. We're going to send this guy to the other side. Nice and clean. Do a, a neat job. I'm going to shorten up these wires. I didn't want to do it yet because I wanted to just make it look as easy as you can. Three wires get pinned to A and D.